Hey guys, Jacob Scott, Lowrance product expert. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to use the Navionics dock-to-dock -dock auto routing feature. As you can see here, my favorite dock is a little flooded. So I'm gonna show you how you can use the dock-to-dock -dock auto routing features to take us to a drier location. Okay guys, as you can see, my little dock right here is not showing how flooded it is on the screen. I know the dock that I wanna to go to is on the other side of the lake and it should be pretty clear and pretty dry. So to use dock to dock auto routing, we're gonna go ahead and zoom out. We're gonna select the spot on the lake we wanna go, which that spot we wanna to go to is right over here. I'm gonna select that area, we can zoom in there. So one important thing you want to do is you want to make sure you don't actually select on a structure or a waypoint or something because it'll pull that information up for you. So we know that dock's right there, so we're going to select that area. Now I'm going to say New Route. I'm going to hit the menu and it's going to ask me right up here at the top, Dock to Dock Auto Routing. That's what we want to do. So we, we're going to hit that and we're going to tell it the entire route. So now I get this little thing that pops up on the screen and it tells me that I have invalid boat settings. So really all that's doing is telling me I haven't set my boat up yet. So if I hit OK, it's going to ask me my boat length, which our boat length here is 22 feet. We say OK. Draft, it's asking, you know, how much water do we draft? This boat drafts approximately 12 inches, but I want to give myself a little bit of a safety margin OK, so I'm going to or that's actually feet. So if I had a bigger boat, I would be putting in feet. Since I don't have a bigger boat, we're going to say, we'll just tell it it drafts two feet. That gives us that little bit of safety margin. It's going to ask how wide my boat is. Uh, and we are going to tell it that it is zero, zero. I believe our beam on this is a about a seven foot beam. And then it asks how tall the boat is. So now with the radar tower and everything on here, I'm gonna guess that we're at about nine feet. So I just, I'm gonna go ahead and tell it 10 feet. So the reason it asks all of these is it's gotta make sure that it knows that you can get your boat into the areas um, where shallow water is gonna be. If you can get in through an inlet with the width, and then the height is about going under bridges and things like that. So we've, we've given it all the parameters that we want right here. We say save. Now we're gonna tell it the entire route. It says it wants two or more points on the route. So we are gonna say, we are gonna come right here. Let's just come in here. I'm gonna zoom in a little bit. I've got quite a few waypoints in this area, so we're gonna go here. New route. So we select from here. And then we're gonna zoom out. We're going all the way to the other end of the lake. Bring it in, and we're gonna bring it to right there. We say finish moving. We're gonna do the entire route. Now it's gonna go through, and it's gonna calculate the route for us. So now it says our dock to dock auto routing is successful. It says it's got it 15 points. We can actually go through here and we can just scroll through and look at it just to make sure we're happy with where it takes us. That map looks good, so we're going to go ahead and say keep. And we hit save. We're going to save it as route number three. Go ahead and hit enter. Now we can see that the dock to dock auto routing is ready. Okay, so now that our route's programmed in here, auto routing has done it. We're gonna tell it to navigate. 
we're going to tell it to start, forward, engage. So now it's going to ask us if we want to confirm the turn that it's going to make. We're going to say yes. The motor is engaged. So now the autopilot is going to drive us onto these points. Now we got a little bit of a breeze, so it's going to make some corrections here. As you can see, we're navigating. It's going to take us to these different route points and take us to the dry dock. Okay guys, as you can see, using the Navionics dock to dock auto routing, it got us right over here to this boat ramp that we can use to pull out of the water. Now don't forget, we used an autopilot in here, but you do not have to use an autopilot to use dock to dock auto routing. It's a feature that's in the software and it allows you to plot that safe route based on the parameters of your boat. Don't forget, if you like this video, give us a thumbs up. And right up here above my head, see this subscribe box? If you click on that, you can get videos just like this every week.